Mr. Darnay. Why did you leave behind the Evermont name? I think it was my father's casual cruelty that really drove me away. I mean, he was so off-handed. I, I remember coming home once and him going on and on about a strike child stuck under his, his carriage. It later became clear to me that the child had died and I couldn't possibly stay under the Evermont name in good conscience. Completely understandable. But Charles, why did you leave that life behind? I mean, it's one thing to give up your family, but your fortune, your titles, allow me to stop you there, madame. From the day I left France, I have never regretted my decision. I would have much rather supported myself and make an honest living than have everything in my life handed to me. And me and Lucy, we- Ah, yes, Lucy! Tell us more. Ah, yes. Lucy Manette. From the day I met her and her father, it's as if my whole world has stopped. I, I look at her and I see the goodness in the world hidden behind her eyes. I'm forever grateful that she allows me to love her every day. And the day we got married, I remember it fondly. It was small, but it felt like the universe could fit inside my hand. For that was how much love and joy she filled me with. That was beautiful, Charles. But, um... I'd really like to take a moment to talk about Sydney Kern. Yes, I, uh, I assumed you'd be interested in the topic. Did you ever realize how far his love for Lucy would really go? Honestly, I, I, I knew he had pent up emotions for Lucy, but I believe sometimes this knowledge got the better of me. But I also know he didn't think very highly of himself. His hair was always undone and I could almost feel the pain of his poor posture. However, I also saw he had potential. I could see he could have been a great man, perhaps even worthy of Lucy's affection. In your opinion, did his demise really allow him to be called a good man? Madame, I'm, I'm not sure that's for me to say. I've tried my hardest to be a good man myself, but I'm sure Sidney in his own way did the same. I'm just uncertain his sacrifice was truly a good act because I don't believe it was selfless. He wanted to prove to himself that he could do something heroic and he didn't do it because he liked me or to save Lucy. Just to give himself a peace of mind, I guess. So, again, I'm, I'm not sure that I call it an act of selflessness and I'm not sure I'm the one to ask in the first place but I still thank him every day well Charles I'm so glad we got a chance to have you on the show but I'm afraid that's all we have time for so thank you for being here today and for our audiences at home thank you for tuning in we'll see you again next week Yes, trois more. That was beautiful, Charles. That's a wrap.